Warpath. Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Night Grind with the Adventure Squad, level 53 edition. After last episode, we were able to get halfway through our new level of 53. So today, let's see if we can finish off 53 and pick up a couple named along the way. And we're still in Velkator's Labyrinth. We'll see what we can do. Let's get ourselves some arrows. And then we will be on our way. Let's check our tracking. Hey, we've got a named. Ready to go. Right off the bat. Let's take a look, see if there's anything else. Uh, we're getting too far away now, I think. All right, well, we have one named, so that's pretty good. The Broodling, that's right over here. It's right on the other side of this wall, so I think our first pull, we're gonna get ourselves a named. So let's do it. Oh, we only got two, right on. We gotta shrink the duff. Alright, let's put one of these to sleep. There we go, move over here. We'll just start moving everybody in. Get that DPS, get those slows going. Shrink Aaliyah this time. There we go. Let's throw the Duff a shrink. Make sure we have her targeted this time. Excellent. This one back to sleep. Got to set up our our loot. Send everything to Drizette. Keep this area clear. There we go. I've been having a good time here killing the spiders. New zone. They're not moving around very much. It's always difficult to move all six at one time. Especially here, there's a lot of slippery areas. Let's throw the Duff a heal just because we have a cleric in the group. Keep her at 100%. DPS is looking pretty good. Hitting for 179 max, you know, right around 80 for the Duff, and she's getting hit for 50s and 70s. Nothing crazy. Let's see if we get that Broodling. There it is. Check it out. Named. That's really good. Can't believe we didn't get that. The other pull. If it's just a regular creature, then uh, we seem to always get it. We get, you know, three on that pull. Take it, kill it one at a time. Get that slow going, DPS. All right, let's give Gwendolyn, let's get her some clarity. Duff, and then we'll throw the Duff, some haste, swift like the wind. The 
same thing for Drizette. She could be attacking faster with her two-handed weapons. Taking that brooding down, slowly but surely, 20%. All right, Xia Xia, she could be attacking faster too. Hey, what do we have here? Silver Chitin hand wraps, look at that, pretty great. There we go, 10 AC, 22% haste, three strength, three agility, and three dex. There you go, those are classic, classic item. Very cool. And before we run off for the next pull, let's give Aaliyah, there we go, get her going with some haste. All right, let's pull these over here. Let's just start focusing on the areas that are going to give us a named. I think we can leave those over there. I don't think they're going to bother us, so let's just leave those alone. Get all three. There we go. That's, that's how we do it here. There we go, get that attack in. Just put the other two to sleep. There you go. Getting better at not panicking, and it also ha helps that really aren't that huge of a threat I think we got a few more maybe we could have an issue but we did pull five last week and that wasn't really a problem so teal the duff yeah look at that With that haste we are just tearing through that one slow get that DPS all right we'll put this other one to sleep before it wakes up which is too late it did at least it didn't attack Terabell so we need to keep that area the original area we pulled clear with the broodling so hopefully we'll get another one and then pull from down here. Hopefully, you know, where Crystallize is. Maybe we'll get her next time. And then pull from up top. Oh, there we go. Even with Bellows. Pull it over here away from her just a little bit. Get a little bit more room to work. So up top, that's the uh, Velium Crystalline Stalker. I think that's the one that drops the spider links or the spider silk stuff or whatever. Not sure. But it's the named in the area. We have one of three. She needs to be, she's pretty good right there. Just don't want her to get attention and get knocked off. Let's move Tara Bell right next to her. We're gonna be pulling right down this ramp. Let's move the duff right in the middle. There we go. Try to get everyone set up. Probably gonna get several. Okay. Let's get up there and see if we start clearing this out. Get ourselves another named. Oh, what do we got here? Hey, we got five again. Excellent. Okay. Get the duff assisting Drizette. There we go. Pop over to Terra Bell. Pick one. Hit Fascination. Get him to sleep. Great. Let's heal Drizette. 
get attacking. Just too far away. Just move her in. And Aaliyah. There we go. Duff, she could use a heal. Yeah, they don't hit super hard. What's she getting hit for? 55, 71, you know? Not bad. And the other two are awake. Put them to sleep. Great, okay. Let's get our DPS going. Gets a little busy. But that, that's what makes it fun, I think. Let's heal. Heal herself. Duff is looking good. Let's pick the top one. Start attacking. <laughs> the best way to do it. Pull it back a little bit. Alright, let's get the rest of the DPS going. Oh, this one's awake. Got like 45 seconds, I think. Let's take a look here. 42 seconds. I need to kill it in 42 seconds and then get the meds back in there so that nobody gets hit. Seal the duff. There's two of them, even though it only shows one. other one to sleep. Right. Not getting the aggro and the attention that we need. Pull it away from Terra Bell after two or three mezzes. I think it gets a little upset. Getting closer and closer to the edge, so hopefully uh, no one falls off. It's a long way down. They should survive, but who knows what they're going to aggro once they get to the bottom. That's the last thing we need right now. We don't need to do a, a long corpse run. From plain of knowledge, back through, great divide. But Terra Bell could use a heal. Let's put this one down. Twenty-eight percent to go. Set to normal over here on track so the next time something spawns we'll be right up there at the top and it'd be great if we could get the some named show up there let's take these two I believe the hunter is the placeholder for the uh, stalker Go. I'm put to sleep. Get everybody going. Well, it's exciting that we had the, the one named with a great drop. The stats aren't awesome, but yeah, that 22% haste, especially back in the day, you really did notice it.
wonder if uh, Aaliyah would really notice it. Yeah, she doesn't really hit that hard anyway, so I don't know if she would lose too much from her, you know, from the stats from her good gloves that she already has right now. But she'd be hitting faster. Get a flowing black six, <laughs> flowing black silk sash for her too. Lose some stats, but really gain the DPS speed. Let's see, do we have any of that here? Duff doing. Is she even attacking? She was not. All right. It's round one. Clear all that. We don't need anything up here. I guess let's just grab these three right here. That uh, the easy pull for three. Give us something to do. Get a little bit more exp we're trying to grind through the levels anyway the faster we can do that the better Let's just keep them coming slow and steady on the dps put these to sleep there we go Aaliyah running. Look at these intricate gloves. Look at that. Those are pretty great stats compared to the silver chip and hand wraps, but she doesn't take any de any damage really. I don't know if just giving her more DPS would be great or a bad thing. Um, more DPS is always good, but I don't know if it would just hurt too much. Drop it back to those gloves. His health is looking good, but we are going to throw a heal to the Duff anyway. And then let's just put this other one to sleep. Even though Terra Bell is not getting attacked, just put it to sleep. Duff as our target, and let's the Duff and Damage Shield. If we can get it to cast, stop attacking. We'll get it. There we go. We have our second round over here, just getting ready to start. So let's start it. There we go, perfect. She hit for uh, the 30s to 70s, 80s. Oh, she kicked for 173. And we'll throw the Duff a heal. It's taking a little bit of damage. All 
Alright, we got this crystal shard, we gotta loot that, and then promptly destroy it. We don't need it. Starting to get used to the duff not being so big. Maybe if we get to a nice outside zone, she won't seem as big. Definitely on this ledge, she took up way too much space. I really like it that these spiders don't run off at low health. Really is making this a lot easier. Okay, here we go. We're going to get a broodling or we're going to get a placeholder. Be great to get the broodling again. Why don't we pull something while we're waiting? I was just standing there. The time it takes to wait. Crystal and Watcher, of course. Spawns right after we walk away. Oh well. We're here for EXP. That's how you get it. Captain Obvious, correct? His health is looking good. Well, let's get the duff with another haste. Looks like it's wore off. minutes let's take a look here while it's fresh 15 minutes so that's probably about once once every round it's clearing everything Health is looking good. We're gonna pop over to Drusette, give her some haste. And Jaja. Hey, what do we have here? Flawed Defiant Leather Bracer. Very nice. Fire Emerald and the Bracer. Hey, we're getting stuff. No crystallized though. Pull two instead of three. That'll be good. Make things a little, a little calmer. to sleep. DPS. Pop over here. We'll get Aaliyah. Give her a swift like the wind. Fifteen more minutes on clarity. Tara Bell could probably use a little clarity herself.
Let's take a look here. Our stats for Aaliyah. Her haste is at 160%. After this fight, let's give her those gloves. Take a look and see what her uh, her damage is. What's she doing here? 25, 50. I mean, she's not doing anything crazy. Put these on. <clears throat> Check out her haste. 182%. I think that would be pretty good. That'll bump that up. Get her a flowing black silk sash for like another, what, 34% on that? We'll really speed her DPS up. She's not hitting for a ton, but if she hits a lot more often, that's going to add up. She's just doing hand-to-hand, -hand. that's my doing. It's not as uh, damaging as like uh, two one-handers, but I think those blue orbs look pretty cool, so. And she does seem to be hitting a lot faster and Sitting for pretty much the same. That's pretty great. Up her DPS game. I thought for sure somebody had a, a sash. While oh, they were being leveled up. Guess not. It'd be here if it was. All right. Let's see. That was all three there. All three up top. And start grabbing these. Instead of five, you get two. Much more manageable. one to sleep. Let's just pop over and heal the duff and then get back to DPS here. It might be fun to uh, try and take the squad down into lower guck and, and get a flowing black silk sash. She has a Cloak of Flames. That's got 36% haste. What is she looking at? She's at 185%. Do want her to be faster. And she is our main tank. Whoop. Screwing around too long. Not attacking when we should. Throw the Duff another heal, just because. And we could get Aaliyah a Cloak of Flames and a Flowing Black Silk Sash and really up her DPS game even further, I think. Pull them both. don't want to look but I think we're probably getting pretty close to finishing off 
Level 53. 1.5, 1.2% a kill. That's pretty good. It's either, you know, you get the lower DP or the lower EXP, you know, really fast, or you try for the higher EXP, but it's going to be slower. You know, if we're attacking the reds or yellows. It will take quite a bit longer to kill. So, get it by volume, maybe, or by quantity or quality. Either way, as long as it's fun. I'm having a good time here doing this, fighting the spiders. Like I said before, I like that they don't run. And hopefully we can get a name here. Uh, which we did not. Should be straight ahead of me. Or Drizette. So maybe it's on a little bit slower spawn time if it's the name. We'll see. Just keep our eye on track. It comes up. No, nah, we'll kill something else. Alright, let's put this one to sleep. That needs a heal. Yeah, we got the 19 points of damage extra for the damage shield. Pretty great. Every little bit helps. Off. Get a good view from here for a little bit. Watch him in action. And it looks like we have a watcher in the place of the named. This, uh, this fabled Belkator, it, it's red, and but it's pretty much level 70. But I think all the fabled are under con because they, they hit a lot harder. They're tuned up. You got to be a kind of a little bit of a old school feel, you know, and a reason to go get it. They drop a pretty cool item. Check out the duff, some heal. Hey, somebody got a ding. Two. Let's see. All right, looks like the duff got it. And looks like Drizette, welcome to level 54. Excellent. So we're right on the cusp of, oops, getting some levels here. Finish it off. And we'll get maybe part way through level 54. That blizzard spider, put that sucker to sleep. Get going here. I don't think our e EXP drop is going to be that much from. 53 to 54. So, might slow down a little bit, but it's okay. Health is looking good. Hey, let's see who got it. Jaja. -ja. Very nice. And 
what is this? Law Defiant Quartz. Hit points, AC, very nice. We should loot that. Uh, looks like she might already have one. Really do need to fuss around with loot after we get things killed. that she could use a clarity. Hey, we got another one. Terra Bell this time. Well, let's send that to the Duff. Duff could use it, I think. Well, let's see if we can give it to her. Slot 7. There we go. She got her first AUG. Gave her more AC. What did we get? What's in here? Let's see. More AC, more hit points, a little bit of mana, and endurance. She doesn't really need that, but the AC and the hit points, might as well. All right, and we are getting back to... Let's just come over here and start this. We don't want to get behind. Perfect. There we go. Get on that. This one to sleep. This uh, shard spider. Start working our DPS again. This is round three. If we would get one name on this round, that'd be pretty great. Yeah, she looked a lot closer to the edge from Leah's point of view. And there you go. Let's see. 54 for Gwendolyn, 54 for Tara Bell. Aaliyah is last but not least. Now let's pull this one over here. While we're waiting for... Oh, forgot. Still have one in camp. <laughs> oh boy. Put him to sleep and you forget. Crystal Devourer is the one straight ahead off there in the back being invisible. And then our Shard Spider is this one. There you go. There's Aaliyah. She got it. There we go. Welcome to 54. Got the whole squad. And we got to watch her again. No. Oh, that's this one over here. our bow to pull from the distance not our swords Ooh, we've, we did actually take a little bit of a hit not even getting one percent on a few of the kills Looks like uh, after we're done, looking to get some named here. I think that's I'm just going to have to call it quits. And we got a hunter. That's not what we want, but it's the XP, right? 
but we've already had this name, so it's not that big of a deal. But we would like to get the, the loot. We're probably missing out on some really good spells here since we've just got two new levels. So, probably screw around. You know, get level 55 and then head back to Plane of Knowledge and grab those new spells. Three levels worth of spells, that's going to be pretty good. Ooh, she's awfully close. Alright, the Duff. She could probably use, let's take a peek here. Yep, the Duff definitely could use a haste. Just do haste all around. We'll let those uh, three spiders spawn down there, down below, where Crystal Eyes is supposed to be. Uh oh. Looks like we have. New person in zone. Volume Stalker was slain by Yersinio. Now someone may be sneaking in to get this fabled. Oh. Maybe we'll see somebody. Something we don't do very often. You don't really see anybody running around in the same zone. There we go, we know the drill. Sleepy time, DPS. Off, she could use that damage shield again. Hey, hey, and it cast it the first time. Right on. There you go. Follow assist. Get the aggro. up a little bit. She's not hitting anything. Yeah, we'll pull that down there. Skill ups. Dual wield getting better. Triple attack getting better for the duff. Nice. Dragon punch, double attack, triple attack, all getting better for Alia. Had a schedule here. It's got a single up there. Pretty crazy how it goes from five to two down to one now. Leave one. 
but I don't need to see people trying to buy Chrono. that when you get hit but it doesn't put you as that being a target so that when you go to assist there's nothing to assist teal the duff bags are getting full next time she's in POK she really does need to empty these out but we'll forget Seven, eight, nine, it's probably like 10% in. 9%? Eh, just got 10. That's not fair though. Didn't count that one. Things really speed up with having that uh, Swift Like the Wind buff. Probably all due to Aaliyah getting those great gloves. Just that much faster. She's the the reason those gloves are it. named or what it looks like uh, somebody came in and, and got the uh, Valkator guy Let's just pull them both. And then we'll be done with up top for this round. Maybe two more rounds, one more round. Alright, let's put the one to sleep.
Thinking about maybe going to uh, Old Sibilis as well. It's healed, Drizette. That was always a really good zone to go to. It's a higher level than here. So it'll be a little bit more of a challenge, but yet... They're getting levels, so... You know, we're getting to the point where... That won't even be a challenge if we get too many levels. So we probably should get there while it's a little bit more level appropriate. I think that's what we might have to do. Maybe we'll do it the old school way too, is uh, go to Trachonon's Forest or Trachonon's Teeth and uh, we'll get the key to get in, I believe, uh, after 52. Uh, you don't need the key to get in anymore. Take a look. Okay. Got a, got a few spiders. Well, see, now that's going to screw me up because uh, whoever came in to, to get Velkator, they're, all their spiders they killed are starting to respawn. And then that starts to show up at the top of my list. His health is looking good. I think that could be fun to do. Uh, like I said, go to Spillis. tracker so that we can find the creatures that drop the parts for the key and then run over and turn it in. We have plenty of plat for that. Could be a good episode. left on our haste. Let's go pull these two. Spawn again over here. We'll take these and then we'll get back to those. Put one to sleep. I think maybe before we go to Zabilis, get a taste of running around in a dungeon, in a lower level dungeon, and we'll go to Lower Guck and we'll get that flowing black silk sash. A little more practice in those tight dungeons, running everyone at once, instead of one at a time, that's not very time efficient. It really worked out well here in this zone because of all the little slippery spots as we're coming up the ice flow here. But in a regular dungeon, I don't think it's going to be feasible to run everyone down one at a time all the way to camp. And that'd be like three episodes right there, just doing that, getting to camp.
Oh, somebody went to town killing everything. Now let's put this spider to sleep. I think it matters, but I'll just do it anyway. you down over to here where Velcator is in the lab labyrinth or the laboratory or something like that. Ah, oh, darn. No named. Stuff a heal. Don't think anything is up here yet. Nope. Don't think anything is down over here yet either. We might be pulling this one. There we go. Just get this guy over here out of the way. Hey, what do we have here? Lord played helm, right on. She looks like it. A larky ice paw that looks, uh, I think that's a named. Like a giant cobalt. Nah, maybe not giant, but just a cobalt. Regular size. crystallize. Jaja. And then Aaliyah. While we go pull. There we go.
Looks like we're just going to finish off this round. Kill a couple more up top here, and then uh, we're going to call this zone done. There's no point of just staying here and try to get items we're probably not going to use. You know, for too many episodes in a row, too much of the same thing. But that's all about playing the game. You know, you're just up there grinding. Hoping to get that named. Hoping to get that drop. Health is looking good. Well, let's see, are we? Uh, yay, we got a couple up top here. Watch her to sleep. Get everyone a little bit closer. They're out there quite a ways. Okay, let's heal the duff. She's taking a little damage. Got them both. Excellent. Two for one. Put that to sleep. Get that DPS. Choose that rope a few times while we're here. Hey, Drizette needs a heal. Back over to Aaliyah. Smash that rogue key a little bit. Get that whistling war song going. Just for fun, while we're waiting. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> we had that other one in camp. Man, that's the second time we've done that. Plus, I pulled a bunch more, so...
<laughs> this is how you how you kill your party right here. This is exactly what you do. Let's put everybody to sleep. Great. Okay. Let's heal the duff. And let's get to work. DPS activated. Just work our way top down. sleep one more time just to try to get ahead of the game here sleep. Get that DPS going. Sleep one more time. Really build up aggro. Bellows works, but it's not awesome to rip aggro. Not like uh, Shadow Knight, where they have that, uh, I don't know, one spell where it pulls the uh, creature right to him. Stalker is up top, but send Drizette up there one last time. Clear that area completely. And these two, and then that'll be that. That'll be conclude a fun run in Valkator's Labyrinth. Just forget the, the Mez. We'll just off tank this stuff and heal Drizette. We'll heal the Duff. Gwendolyn, she's getting nailed. Oh, 
that over here. Here we go. Just DPS this thing down. Our final kill of Velkator's Labyrinth. It would be great if it was a named. But not that lucky. Right on. I knew how to get over here. Well, those crystal gargoyles are gone. Oh, nope, there he is. I don't know how to get over there. Oh, well. We have other things to do. Other places to go. And with that, well, I think we're going to call this episode an episode. And uh, next time, maybe we'll be heading down into Lower Guck so that we can try to get uh, Aaliyah a flowing black silk sash. Give her a little extra haste and upper DPS a little bit. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.